Good evening. Today I want to talk about J. Gresham Machen and the fundamentalist modernist controversy that occurred in the United States during the 1920s and 30s. John Gresham Machen was an American Presbyterian New Testament scholar and professor at Princeton Theological Seminary from 1906 to 1929. Machen is arguably one of the most well-known fundamentalists during the fundamentalist modernist controversy of the 1920s and 30s that largely impacted the Presbyterian Church. The fundamentalist modernist controversy started well before the 1920s. The Presbyterian Church had split twice over the doctrine during the, both during the First and Second Great Awakenings, forming the New School and Old School Presbyterians. In, 19, in 1857, the New School Presbyterians split again over the issues of slavery right before the Civil War. The primary issues within the Presbyterian Church were disagreements over the nature of church authority and the authority of the Westminster Confession of Faith, which standardized beliefs over the scriptures, theology of the covenant, law, worship, church government, and even eschatology. However, the fundamentalist modernist controversies were issues not only of doctrine, but the foundational principles of the religion as a whole. At issue were foundational disputes about the role of Christianity, the authority of the scripture, the death, resurrection, and ton toning sacrifices of Jesus Christ. The fundamentalists, as they began to call themselves, believed the doctrines of the Christian faith were irrevocably valid. Essentially, the fundamentalists believed that Jesus was the son of the living God, that Christ rose again after the death of the cross, the world was created by God, and they completely rejected Darwin's theory of evolution. And these are just some of the principles that they stood by. The modernists, however, or some might call them Christian liberals, advocated for more of a conscious ad adaption of religion in response to new scientific discoveries and the moral pressures of the age. So where does J. Gresham Machen fall into this? Machen was a professor, professor at Princeton Theological Seminary during the height of the controversy. Machen was a prominent and vocal defender of the fundamentalist side of the argument. He published works such as The Origin of Paul's Religion in 1929, 1921, which critiqued the modernist belief that Paul's religion was based mainly on, upon Greek philosophy and an entirely different religion altogether. Machen's most famous work was his book titled Christianity and Liberalism, which was published in 1923, that compared conservative and Protestant Christianity to the rising modernist or liberal theology. Machen concludes in this book, and I quote, In the sphere of religion in particular, the present time is a time of conflict. The great redemptive religion, which has always been known as Christianity, is battling against a totally diverse type of religious belief which is only the more destructive of the Christian faith because it makes use of traditional Christian terminology. But manifold as are the forms in which the movement appears, the root of the movement is one, the many varieties of the modern liberal religion, religion are rooted in naturalism, that is, in the denial of any entrance of the creative power of God, as distinguished from the ordinary course of nature in, connect, in connection with the origin of Christianity. As you can see, Macon believed that liberal Christianity is an entirely different religion altogether, with foundations outside the principles of the Christian faith. He was obviously an exclusivist that believed that only faith in Jesus Christ and the non-negotiable fundamentals were the true form of Christianity. Machen eventually left the Princeton Theological Seminary due to the General Assembly's decision to assimilate different beliefs and bring in new school scholars in order to end the controversy for the well-being of the domination. Machen, along with fellow fundamentalist scholars, founded the Westminster Theological Seminary in 1929 in order to continue teaching Orthodox theology. And then Machen withdrew from the Northern Presbyterian Church and formed what eventually became known as the Orthodox Presbyterian Church amid controversy with other fundamentalists. J. Gresham Machen was a controversial figure during this time, but he fought for what he believed in. He did not conform to societal norms or pressures of the day to keep his position of authority and did not care if his beliefs tarnished his name. He never wavered on his belief of the fundamentals of the Christian faith and the validity of the gospel.